In vector calculus, divergence is a vector operator that produces a scalar field, giving the quantity of a vector field's source at each point. More technically, the divergence represents the volume density of the outward flux of a vector field from an infinitesimal volume around a given point. As an example, consider air as it is heated or cooled. The velocity of the air at each point defines a vector field. While air is heated in a region, it expands in all directions, and thus the velocity field points outward from that region. The divergence of the velocity field in that region would thus have a positive value. While the air is cooled and thus contracting, the divergence of the velocity has a negative value. Topic: <laughs> Physical interpretation of divergence. In physical terms, the divergence of a three-dimensional vector field is the extent to which the vector field flux behaves like a source at a given point. It is a local measure of its outgoingness, the extent to which there is more of some quantity exiting an infinitesimal region of space than entering it. If the divergence is non-zero at some point then there is compression or expansion at that point. Note that we are imagining the vector field to be like the velocity vector field of a fluid in motion when we use the terms flux and so on. More rigorously, the divergence of a vector field f at a point p can be defined as the limit of the net flux of f across the smooth boundary of a three-dimensional region 5 divided by the volume of v as v shrinks to p. Formally, div f P equals lim v p s v f n caret v d s Display style left operator name div math bf f right underscore p equals lim underscore v right arrow p i i n t underscore s v frac math bf f c d o t math bf hat n v d s where v is the volume of v s v is the boundary of v and the integral as a surface integral with n being the outward unit normal to that surface. The result, divf, is a function of p. From this definition, it also becomes obvious that divf can be seen as the source density of the flux of f. In light of the physical interpretation, a vector field with zero divergence everywhere is called incompressible or solenoidal, in which case any closed surface has no net flux across it. The intuition that the sum of all sources minus the sum of all sinks should give the net flux outwards of a region is made precise by the divergence theorem. Topic: Definition. Topic: Cartesian coordinates. In three-dimensional Cartesian coordinates, the divergence of a continuously differentiable vector field f equals f x i plus f y j plus f z k Display style Math BF F equals F underscore X Math BF I plus F underscore Y Math BF J plus F underscore Z Math BF K is defined as the scalar valued function DIV F equals F equals X Y Z F X F Y F Z equals F X X plus F 
y y plus f z z display style operator name div math bf f equals nabla c d o t math bf f equals left frac partial partial x frac partial partial y frac partial partial z right c d o t f underscore x f underscore y f underscore z equals frac partial f underscore x partial x plus frac partial f underscore y partial y plus frac partial f underscore z partial z although expressed in terms of coordinates the result is invariant under rotations as the physical interpretation suggests this is because the trace of the jacobian matrix of an n dimensional vector field f in n dimensional space is invariant under any invertible linear transformation the common notation for the divergence f is a convenient mnemonic, where the dot denotes an operation reminiscent of the dot product. Take the components of the operator, C del, apply them to the corresponding components of f, and sum the results. Because applying an operator is different from multiplying the components, this is considered an abuse of notation. The divergence of a continuously differentiable second-order tensor field ε is a first-order tensor field div ε equals ε x x x plus ε y x y plus Epsilon Z X Z Epsilon X Y X plus Epsilon Y Y Y plus Epsilon Z Y Z Epsilon X Z X plus Epsilon Y Z Y plus Epsilon Z Z Z Display style overwrite arrow operator name div math bf var epsilon equals begin b matrix dfrac partial var epsilon underscore x x partial x plus dfrac partial var epsilon underscore y x partial y plus dfrac partial var epsilon underscore z x partial z dfrac partial var epsilon underscore x y partial x X plus DFRAC partial var epsilon underscore Y Y partial Y plus DFRAC partial var epsilon underscore Z Y partial Z DFRAC partial var epsilon underscore X Z partial X plus DFRAC partial var epsilon underscore Y Z partial Y plus DFRAC partial var epsilon underscore Z Z partial Z N B matrix. Topic: Cylindrical coordinates. For a vector expressed in local unit cylindrical coordinates as f equals e r f r plus e theta f theta plus e z f z display style math b f f equals math b f e underscore r f underscore r plus math b f e underscore theta f underscore theta plus math b f e underscore z f underscore z where a is the unit vector in direction a, the divergence is div f 
equals F equals one R R R F R plus one R F theta theta plus F Z Z Display style operator name div math bf f equals nabla c d o t math bf f equals frac one r frac partial partial r left r f underscore r right plus frac one r frac partial f underscore theta partial theta plus frac partial f underscore z partial z. The use of local coordinates is vital for the validity of the expression. If we consider x the position vector and the functions r x display style r math bf x theta x display style theta math bf x and z x display style z math bf x which assign the corresponding global cylindrical coordinate to a vector in general r f x does not equal f r x display style r math b f f math b f x n e q f underscore r math b f x theta f x does not equal f theta x display style theta math bf f math bf x n e q f underscore theta math bf x and z f x does not equal f z x Display style z math bf f math bf x n e q f underscore z math bf x. In particular, if we consider the identity function f x equals x. Display style math bf f math bf x equals math bf x. We find that theta f x equals theta does not equal f theta x equals 0 display style theta math bf f math bf x equals theta n e q f underscore theta math bf x equals 0 Topic: Spherical coordinates. In spherical coordinates, with theta the angle with the z-axis and phi the rotation around the z-axis, and f display style math bff again written in local unit coordinates, the divergence is div f equals f equals 1 r 2 r r 2 f r plus 1 r sin theta theta sin theta f theta plus 1 r sin theta f phi phi 
Display style operator name div math bff equals nabla c d o t math bff equals frac one r caret two frac partial partial r left r caret two f underscore r right plus frac one r sin theta frac partial partial theta sin theta f underscore theta plus frac one r sin theta frac partial f underscore var phi Partial Varfi. Topic General Coordinates. Using Einstein notation, we can consider the divergence in general coordinates, which we write as x one. She x n, where n is the number of dimensions of the domain. Here, the upper index refers to the number of the coordinate or component, so x2 refers to the second component, and not the quantity x squared. The index variable i is used to refer to an arbitrary element, such as she. The divergence can then be written via the voss weyl formula, as div f equals 1 rho rho F I X I display style operator name div math b f f equals frac one row frac partial left row f caret I right partial x caret I where row display style row is the local coefficient of the volume element and phi are the components of f with respect to the local unnormalized covariant basis sometimes written as e i equals x x i display style math bf e underscore i equals partial math bf x partial x caret i the Einstein notation implies summation over i, since it appears as both an upper and lower index. The volume coefficient rho display style rho is a function of position which depends on the coordinate system. In Cartesian, cylindrical and spherical coordinates, using the same conventions as before, we have rho equals one display style row equals one row equals r display style row equals r and row equals r two sin theta display style row equals r caret two sin theta respectively. It can also be expressed as rho equals det g a b display style rho equals sqrt operator name det g underscore ab where g a b display style g underscore ab is the metric tensor. Since the determinant is a scalar quantity which doesn't depend on the indices, we can suppress them and simply write rho equals det g display style rho equals sqrt operator name det g. Another expression comes from computing the determinant of the Jacobian for transforming from Cartesian coordinates, which for n equals 3 gives rho equals x y z x 1 x 2 x 3 Display style row equals left frac partial x y z partial x caret one x caret two x caret three right. Some conventions expect all local basis elements to be normalized to unit length, as was done in the previous sections. If we write 
e carrot i display style hat math bf e underscore i for the normalized basis and f carrot i display style hat f carrot i for the components of f with respect to it we have that f equals f i e i equals f i e i e i e i equals f i g i i e caret i equals f caret i e caret i Display style Math BF F equals F carrot I Math BF E underscore I equals F carrot I Elvert Math BF E underscore I R vert frac Math BF E underscore I Elvert Math BF E underscore I R vert equals F carrot I SQRT G underscore E hat Math BF E underscore I equals hat F carrot I hat Math BF E underscore or I using one of the properties of the metric tensor by dotting both sides of the last equality with the contravariant element e caret i display style hat math bf e caret i we can conclude that f i equals f caret I G I I display style f caret i equals hat f caret i s q r t g underscore e. After substituting, the formula becomes d i v f equals one row row g i I F carrot I X I equals one debt G debt G G I I F carrot I X I Display style operator name div math bf f equals frac one row frac partial left frac row sqrt g underscore e hat f caret i right partial x caret i equals frac one sqrt operator name debt g frac partial left sqrt frac operator name debt g g underscore e hat f caret i right partial x caret i See section generalizations for further discussion. Topic: Decomposition theorem. It can be shown that any stationary flux V R that is at least twice continuously differentiable in R3 and vanishes sufficiently fast for R infinity can be decomposed into an irrotational part E R and a source-free part B R. Moreover, these parts are explicitly determined by the respective source densities see above and circulation densities see the article curl. For the irrotational part, one has E equals minus phi r display style math bf e equals nabla phi math bf r with phi r equals r three d three r div V 
R four Pi R minus R Display style phi math BF R equals in underscore math BB R carrot three D carrot three Math BF R frac operator name D I V Math BF V Math BF R four Pi left Math BF R Math BF R right the source free part b can be similarly written one only has to replace the scalar potential phi r by a vector potential a r and the terms minus phi by plus times a and the source density div v by the circulation density times v this decomposition theorem is a byproduct of the stationary case of electrodynamics it is a special case of the more general Helmholtz decomposition which works in dimensions greater than 3 as well. Topic: <laughs> Properties. The following properties can all be derived from the ordinary differentiation rules of calculus. Most importantly, the divergence as a linear operator, i.e., D I V A F plus B G equals a D I V F plus B D I V G Display style operator name D I V a Math B F F plus B Math B F G equals a operator name D I V Math B F F plus B operator name D I V Math B F G for all vector fields F and G and all real numbers A and B. There is a product rule of the following type if phi is a scalar valued function and F is a vector field, then Div phi f equals grad phi f plus phi div f Display style operator name div var phi math bf f equals operator name grad var phi c d o t math bf f plus var phi operator name div math bf f or in more suggestive notation phi f equals phi f plus phi F display style nabla c d o t var phi math b f f equals nabla var phi c d o t math b f f plus var phi nabla c d o t math b f f. Another product rule for the cross product of two vector fields f and g in three dimensions involves the curl and reads as follows: d i v f times g equals curl f g minus f curl g display style operator name div math bf f times math bf g equals operator name curl math bf f c d o t math bf g math bf f c d o t operator name curl math bf g or f times g equals times f G minus F times G display style nabla c d o t math b f f times math b f g equals nabla times math b f f c d o t math b f g math b f f c d o t nabla times math b f g the Laplacian of a scalar field is the divergence of the field's gradient. Div phi equals 
delta phi display style operator name div nabla var phi equals delta var phi the divergence of the curl of any vector field in 3 dimensions is equal to 0 times f equals 0 display style nabla c d o t nabla times math b f f equals 0 if a vector field f with zero divergence is defined on a ball in R3, then there exists some vector field G on the ball with f equals curl G for regions in R3 more topologically complicated than this, the latter statement might be false see Poincaré lemma. The degree of failure of the truth of the statement, measured by the homology of the chain complex scalar fields on U grad vector fields on u curl vector fields on u div scalar fields on u display style text scalar fields on u tilde overset operator name grad right arrow tilde text vector fields on u tilde overset operator name curl right arrow tilde text vector fields on u tilde overset operator name div right arrow tilde text scalar fields on u serves as a nice quantification of the complicatedness of the underlying region U. These are the beginnings and main motivations of de Rham cohomology. <laughs> Relation with the exterior derivative One can express the divergence as a particular case of the exterior derivative, which takes a two-form to a three-form in R3. Define the current two-form as J equals F one D Y D Z plus F two D Z D X plus F three D X D Y Display style J equals F underscore one die wedge D Z plus F underscore two D Z wedge D X plus F underscore three D X wedge die it measures the amount of stuff flowing through a surface per unit time in a stuff fluid of density ρ equals 1 dx di dz moving with local velocity f. Its exterior derivative dj is then given by d j equals f 1 x plus f 2 y plus f 3 z d x d y d z equals f row Display style dj equals left frac partial f underscore one partial x plus frac partial f underscore two partial y plus frac partial f underscore three partial z right dx wedge die wedge dz equals nabla c d o t math b f f row. Thus, the divergence of the vector field f can be expressed as f equals D F flat display style nabla c d o t math b f f equals star d star big math b f f caret flat big. Here the superscript flat is one of the two musical isomorphisms and is the Hodge star operator. 
Working with the current two form and the exterior derivative is usually easier than working with the vector field and divergence, because unlike the divergence, the exterior derivative commutes with a change of curvilinear coordinate system. Topic: Generalizations. The divergence of a vector field can be defined in any number of dimensions. If f equals f one f two f n display style math b f f equals f underscore one f underscore two l dots f underscore n in a Euclidean coordinate system with coordinates x1, x2, xn, define div f equals f equals f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus plus f n x n display style operator name div math b f f equals nabla c d o t math b f f equals frac partial f underscore one partial x underscore one plus frac partial f underscore two partial x underscore two plus c dots plus frac partial f underscore n partial x underscore n the appropriate expression is more complicated in curvilinear coordinates. In the case of one dimension, f reduces to a regular function, and the divergence reduces to the derivative. For any n, the divergence is a linear operator, and it satisfies the product rule. Phi f equals phi f plus Phi f display style nabla c d o t var phi math b f f equals nabla var phi c d o t math b f f plus var phi nabla c d o t math b f f for any scalar valued function phi. The divergence of a vector field extends naturally to any differentiable manifold of dimension n that has a volume form or density μ, e.g. a Riemannian or Lorentzian manifold. Generalizing the construction of a two-form for a vector field on R3, on such a manifold a vector field x defines an n minus one form j equals x μ obtained by contracting x with μ. The divergence is then the function defined by d j equals div x mu display style d j equals operator name div x mu. Standard formulas for the Lie derivative allow us to reformulate this as l x mu equals div x mu display style math call l underscore x mu equals operator name div x mu this means that the divergence measures the rate of expansion of a volume element as we let it flow with the vector field on a pseudo Riemannian manifold, the divergence with respect to the metric volume form can be computed in terms of the Levi Civita connection. Div x equals x equals x a a display style operator name div x equals nabla c d o t x equals x caret o underscore o where the second expression is the contraction of the vector field valued one form x with itself and the last expression is the traditional coordinate expression from ricci calculus
An equivalent expression without using connection is div x equals one det g a det g x a display style operator name div x equals frac 1 sqrt operator name det g partial underscore a left sqrt operator name det g x caret a right where g is the metric and a denotes the partial derivative with respect to coordinate x a. Divergence can also be generalized to tensors. In Einstein notation, the divergence of a contravariant vector f mu is given by f equals mu f mu. Display style nabla c d o t math b f f equals nabla underscore mu f caret mu, where mu denotes the covariant derivative. Equivalently, some authors define the divergence of a mixed tensor by using the musical isomorphism sharp. If T is a p q tensor, p for the contravariant vector and q for the covariant one, then we define the divergence of T to be the p q minus one tensor. Div T y one y q minus one equals trace x sharp t x y one y q minus one Display style operator name div t y underscore one l dots y underscore q one equals operator name trace big x mapsto sharp nabla t x c d o t y underscore one l dots y underscore q one big. That is, we take the trace over the first two covariant indices of the covariant derivative. Topic. See also Curl Del in cylindrical and spherical coordinates Divergence theorem Gradient Topic. Notes Citations <laughs> <laughs>